Hey guys, happy holidays. We um, had a very unusual holiday season here for the family. It's been pretty morbid, lost uh, someone on both my wife's side and my side. Uh, so, you know, just pray for us guys. And um, so it's been pretty hectic. We're trying to do last minute shopping and wrapping gifts and trying to be with family uh, to deal with this loss. So it's been wild, but so I hadn't had a chance to do the reveal yet. Um, but the machine is done. Put an asterisk there because uh, as you guys, if you choose to go this route, will soon learn that uh, you're never really finished with a virtual pinball machine because there's so much done, there's so much stuff happening every day and so many things you can do. Uh, but with the Toy Shock um, pinball mod, you know, you kind of limit it with the space that you have within the cabinet. But I just want to give you a sneak peek. This is the uh, live marquee for the haunted house. Gottlieb's Haunted House and this is the play field so I'll be doing the reveal here just as soon as I can do and once I get this basement cleaned up I'll be able to uh do that for you guys, but um, I'll have the total cost of the mod. I'll have a link to the things that I've used. And, uh, you know, this is a little different than the uh, RK 1UP mod where I can just say, hey, buy these things and you do XYZ and you'll be good. Um, I can, but without me fully testing Every part, I couldn't do it with good conscience. So that's something that, you know, I can look to do down the line. Um, you know, just with the the shape of this, this tiny three-quarter scale cabinet, you're just limited with space. And so, you know, there's some other options that you have to just go with a pre-made cabinet. Doing this cabinet requires uh, some, you know, some some cutting of this backboard with a jig saw or something. Versus, if you buy a cabinet, you can just fit pieces in. Uh, so this was new. This was new territory, uncharted lands. A few of us was going at the same time uh, to get this thing done. I still haven't done my uh, Pinball X to allow me to have a front end so each table has to be launched through the Windows interface. We definitely don't want to have that. Uh, so stay tuned. I got a little bit tweaking to do to be able to do the reveal. Uh, but the Haunted House, modded Haunted House on the Toy Shock Pinball cabinet will be coming, guys. Merry Christmas. Uh, hopefully I can get it done before the new year. I'm pretty sure I will. Uh, God willing, man. Hopefully we can get through this time period with family. And um, I have the week off, so I have the opportunity to get it done. It's just if, it'll, if life will let me get to it before then. But it, the table looks nice, man. It plays nice. It's... Uh, it's a lot of work. Uh, you know, it's not really difficult. It's just it's just different. It's, it's purely doable. Uh, the hardest part is, like I said, making this thing, this back, uh, back glass board, because you have to cut some wood. My uh, skills were, it, my, my skill set is definitely not in the uh, woodworking area, as you guys will see. Um, the software... While it's challenging, it's not impossible. Uh, don't let it be so daunting to you 
It just takes some time. As long as you can get a few tables in there while you're learning, you can you can play. Now, and that's where the advantage of modding this table versus buying a kit. The kit you got to put together completely from from like a IKEA furniture from start. You can't do anything even when you get it started until you get something installed. Uh, this cabinet, you can at least get up and going and play the 12 built-in games, one of which is Haunted House. And you can play that until you order your parts and uh, get your computer set up on the side. Uh, so that's where the real advantage is in modding this thing. You can leave it as is and enjoy the 12 games while you learn the software and get the games uh, that you want set up first. And so, you know, the, the cost may vary based on what parts you have on hand, whether you got to buy everything from scratch or whether you reuse things or buy a computer secondhand, buy a monitor like I did secondhand from the Salvation Army. Uh, it's definitely going to vary. But just uh, have confidence that you can do this we're going to show you what we've done along the way and allow you to do the same thing. Here at uh, Detroit Love, man, we we want to make sure that you are able to do what we do and not just look at what we do. And that's the difference where we are from other uh, YouTubers. We're not just going to show off. We're going to show you how it's done how I did it, how you can do it, how you can learn from my mistakes so that you can avoid those and how you can have fun getting your hands dirty and getting your very own virtual pinball. I tell you, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. It's going to be some setbacks. It's going to be some things you have to get through. And you can always ask me a question and I will do my best to help you to get your final project done. All right, guys. Again, happy holidays. If you haven't subscribed, we want to reach the 2,000 mark. Last year, just around this time, we hit the 1,000 mark. And this year, if you guys can help us get us through, I'm probably going to have a giveaway. I'm going to give away one of the uh, video control controller boards so that you can use this, this built-in screen and get your mod started. Um, I'm thinking I might do something if we hit uh, the 200 mark on the group, our uh, Facebook group, the Toy Shock Digital Pinball and Modding group on Facebook. The link is in the description. We'll give away something. I'm not sure what it is just yet. Um, I'm trying to do like a $50, uh, $50 Amazon card. That's what I want to do. And I want to give away the controller card, which is uh, roughly about a $33 value. Uh, so one for the YouTube reaching 2000 and a gift for uh, the Facebook webpage reaching 200 All right, guys. I know I've said this enough. Merry Christmas. And until I see you guys next, but that's not what I say. I done had a drink. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time, I'll see you on the web.